Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to explore the example of Lex specification means we are going to examine a Lex program. This is the Lex program and which will help us understand the previous concept that we read in the previous video that we understood in the previous video. How are they used in the program? So as I told you the Lex specification contains three parts. First is the regular definition part. It is up to here because we can as I told you in the previous video, it is separated by double percentage sign. So this is the regular definition part. This is the pattern part means the translation rules part. And this is the auxiliary procedures or methods user defined procedures or methods part. So these are the three parts. The leg specification consists of these three only. So now as I told you in the regular definitions, we need to define by using the syntax percentage and the open curly braces. We have written a comment over here and close it using percentage and the close curly braces. So in between goes the definitions using the macro has defined LT is less than less or equal to equals to not equals to greater than greater than equals to if then else identify a number relational operator. We define each of them this dot 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 tells us that here are a lot of C definition inside this hash defined. So now there are some extra definitions like the delim which tells us that these are the escape sequences. WS that is the white spaces that is the delim repeated plus means it's repeated regular expression plus and for a letter it has to lie between capital A to capital Z or small a to small z then it is considered as letter same goes for digit 0 to 9 and now comes the identifier here a letter check the brackets carefully a letter is mandatory in the first place these are in curly braces then comes the parenthesis and we have a letter or a digit n times. So what does that mean that we can create identifier starting from any letter a letter this letter points to this letter definition here and these letter and digit also do the same and so starting from a letter that is capital A to Z small a to Z and then we can have either a letter or digits n times it doesn't matter then comes the number it is the sequence read it and it is then differentiated by using the double percentage sign and here comes the translation rules the translation rules are if we get white spaces in curly braces it returns white space if we encounter a pattern if then it returns if statement this capital if is the keyword relating to the compiler if we get then then it turns then so this token that is this then or this if these are tokens which are returned to the parser means the syntax analyzer the parser is a syntax analyzer it is written to them means we are breaking the patterns into lexemes like if then else install id return id all of these then we have identifiers numbers some relational operators like less than less than equals to it returns the yyl val that is lt we have written here lt check this if you can see my mouse pointer very well this is lt this is lt and this returns a relational operator rel op we have also defined the rel op over here this is the relational operator and this yyl val is the token attribute whatever attribute it is storing is gonna placed in here and if the identifier is in the symbol table then it's fine if it is not then this install id installs the id in the symbol table in the symbol table the identifier is placed based on their serialty and with their attributes so what is this install id install num these are the auxiliary methods or the auxiliary procedures which are used so this is in the third part after separating by this percentage percentage sign we get to know that this is user defined auxiliary procedures part so we have the install id install num and few more if, if there are any so this is the whole explanation of a simple lex specification program usually it is not this simple it is a bit more complex but we are doing up to this because we don't need much more explanation than this and that's all for this video thank you guys if you like the video do like it and watch the next video we're gonna start something interesting now thank you
keep learning